When I joined the Triple X franchise, I wanted to see like what can I bring to it? What can I do to do do it justice? I mean, I love the character of Xander Cage. It's been 15 years since we last saw him, so I thought, what can I do to update him? He's a rebel who became a patriot, and sort of bring him and his friends and, and some new kick-ass action into modern cinema. Yeah. I think it was not only fighting guys uh, fighting, it was girls fighting too. So it was like, you know, for me it was a lot of fun because I realized that halfway through, there was a real competition between all these stars, like trying to say, who's working out, who's doing what, who's doing their own stunts. I want to do my own stunts. So I used that and used them. Um, use their competitive nature to my advantage so that we got really great sequences. And who did work out the most? Oh, <laughs> let me see, who worked out the most? I can't, I, I'm gonna say it was probably a tie. Vin led, the, Vin led the charge, but Donnie Yen and Deepago were very close behind. What makes Vin such an extraordinary star, and what is it about him in this character specifically that's so appealing? I think what's appealing about Vin as Xander Cage is that I think this is a character that's the closest to who Vin really is. This character is a little bit out of his mind. He takes chances. He smiles a lot. I think a lot of other Vin's characters are a little brooding. He's really portraying a character. Xander Cage is the closest to Vin. I think that's what people really respond to. Uh, so for me, it was important to bring out his personality and to bring out his, his like, his mojo, and I think this character is very close. And Vin's like the big brother that you have. He's the neighbor next door who kicks someone's ass if you need him to, and he's just a lot of fun. Of course, I mean, it's been a long time since the first film in the, in the franchise, and the world's changed a lot. Um, how do you think the world of Triple X has moved on, and can you talk about some of the new faces that are obviously making this film very exciting? Well, yeah, I think in the absence of Xander Cage in the 15 years, given Sam Jackson's character was out recruiting and actually realized that this is not a an American agency, this is a global agency. And so over the years, he's been building up a different Triple X team. Once Vin comes back, Xander comes back, he ends up hooking up and he's got Donnie Yen, he's got Ruby Rose, he's got Rory McCann, he's got a whole cast of characters, he's got Tony Ja, Michael Bisming. So there's a whole different world of Triple X now. It's not just an American movie, it's a global, a global agency. Just finally, Michael was saying that there may be, if we're lucky, another installment in the Triple H franchise? Is that something that you're excited about? Would you be back for that? Yeah, I would be real excited only because, as you saw, we had this amazing cast. We, we had this amazing cast that we were able to, to do, we did so much with them in this movie. I have so much more in my head I want to do that I'd love to come back and do it again. What excited me about the character, about the movie is my character, and the character is Serena Unger, and she's someone who is extremely powerful and in independent and intelligent and confident, uh, smart, and for me, a representation of uh, the women in the world today. I think there's equal number of women in the movie uh, who are equally strong and equally powerful. Uh, so it, it's not your typical uh, testosterone filled movie where the guys are you know flexing their muscles and the women are like waiting to be rescued. It is a film where the men and women are equal and they work together to achieve the larger mission. I mean for me it's the same as an artist, uh, you know the experience was exactly the same and uh, I cannot wait to share this experience with everyone. What would you say, what was your most overriding thing that you would take back from this experience working on a big production in Hollywood? I think the amazing friends that I've made in the, in the months of filming together, the fact that we've all become so close and that we made such an amazing movie. Well, listen, this film's a lot of a lot of fun. You know, you uh, sit there, watch this movie. It's just incredible. The stunts that we did, the energy, the cast, everything. So, you watch this movie, you're going to be in for a wild ride. In terms of that cast, what was it like working with them for you, and particularly Vin? What do you think makes him such a huge star? Yeah, no, listen. You know, Vin is. You know, he's a legend. He really is. And uh, to be involved with this franchise, to work with Vin, Tony Jaa, Donnie Yen. All these amazing people, this amazing cast, for me, you know, it was just incredible. Of course, I've done some movies, but nothing of this level. And uh, to be involved with this, yeah, very special. Of course, as a fighter yourself, was it a particularly fascinating experience for you to get to be on set with people like Donnie and Tony, who obviously have their own very celebrated and unique styles of fighting? Yeah, 100%. You know, Tony Jaa and Donnie Yen are legends of the martial arts cinema genre. So uh, for me to be alongside them, even though I do it for real, was a little it was a little intimidating. You know, these guys, you know, they, they've been at the forefront of that for a long time. I mean, Donnie Yen, you know, he's an absolute legend. So, yeah, to be on there uh, exchanging uh, fight moves and techniques and choreographing fight scenes with them, it was a dream come true.
in terms of the action that you personally have in this film, was there one sequence that was the most challenging or the most rewarding for you? I'll be honest, none of it was too challenging. I mean, yes, of course, it was demanding, you know, and every day was hard on set, you know. Doing those fight scenes over and over and over again uh, was very demanding. But this is what I do, this is my life, you know, so I, I, I loved every single moment of it. Looking forward to 2017, what else is on the horizon for you? Yeah, so I'm filming a TV show in a couple of weeks. Hopefully we've got another Triple X we're going to film in the summer. Uh, a couple more movies as well that aren't signed off on yet, so I won't curse it. But uh, hopefully a good set 2017. Of course, talking about UFC, obviously uh, one of the big stories already at the start of this year is uh, the future of Ronda Rousey. I'm curious if you have any particular opinions about that. You think that she can come back from that second defeat? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, whatever she wants to do. I mean, she's achieved it all in the sport. Uh, she's achieved it all in the sport, so if she wanted to step away, then, uh, you know, I totally understand that. Also, if she wanted to fight again, I'd understand that as well. So, so whatever she wants to do. Man, she's loud. You got a message to fans before you leave? Oh, listen, thank, thanks for the support, thanks for the love. Enjoy the movie, and uh, I should be fighting again in April, so don't miss it. Uh, the fans uh, more love this movie be, be, because I really good opportunity for me for the show Muay Thai. Muay Thai and really special move in this movie. And then most... Uh, oh, we talked about uh, Vin Diesel and me. We had the same the idea from how to make entertain for people. You see, the action, this action movie is a martial art movie. I, I, I do some martial arts, uh, Muay Thai movie. And then Win says, Tony, how to make some martial art movie, Muay Thai, in this movie for the fan? You can do? Yeah, I can do. We, ho we hope to do to, to fan for, for experience and, and uh, for this space from some, uh, some my culture, uh, some my Muay Thai, and uh, some Muay Thai. It's Muay Thai. I want to tell you this. Hey, yeah, right here, right now. It's on a movie. <laughs> oh, but we want to see it. Oh, yeah, it's Thai. Okay, uh, you know, Thailand is more respect like, like this. And it's a big this. Yeah, I cannot, I can't speed because my pen, <laughs> you know, as my pen. <laughs> I keep memory in uh, on set, uh, you know, when I work hard on set with Vin Diesel, Johnny, and to do some stunt and clues, I keep memory all the time. And we work hard for movie. We work hard for fans from all over the world. But now, Timia is coming. I'm so happy. I'm so happy you're here with us as well. Thank you. It is fantastic to have you with us in London. Um, of all the great characters you played, what's unique about Xander Cage and what was it like working with this astonishing cast for this one? Well, first of all, it was an astonishing cast. Guys, say hello oh. to the world, to the world, to the world. Uh, What's unique, guys? What do you think? What's unique about Xander Cage? Let's see what they're saying. Uh, I love you. Yeah, well, I love you too. And uh, Kaylindo, Kaylindo, okay. Um, he's unapologetic about being playful. He is irreverent. He is an individual. He's a thrill seeker. Um, and. I never realized how much I missed the character until I finally came back to him. But what do all your big characters, you know, Dominic, Riddick, Xander, what do they all have in common? Because you clearly like playing this kind of guy. <laughs> Stilo. <laughs> My hairstyle, I think. Um, uh, maybe, maybe the thing that they all have in common is a little compassion for the world. Some characters have a buried deeper than others, <laughs> like Riddick. But uh, I think what, what, what goes across the board is, a, is a, a kind of a universal compassion. I'd like to think. Talking about conquering the world, then obviously you've got such a big year ahead of you. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're feeling about all the other great stuff you've got coming up? 
I, I feel really blessed that uh, finally we're going to have uh, all the films come out. Um, it's been a lot of work, and finally the movies are going to come out. And I just want people around the world to enjoy them. Um, it's all about escapism. And if I could make something that could allow you to escape for two hours of your life, um, then I've done my job. If I can embed it with some theme or some message, then I'm, then I'm really, really successful. Uh, but I just want you to enjoy the movies that I've made. Um, and I just feel blessed that I'm able to do what I love to do. The mice. Red carpets! <laughs> Did you 